If you're trying to scale your Facebook ads, you need to be running this campaign structure. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. Here we go. So you need to be running a CBO campaign, a campaign budget optimization. You're going to put a majority of your budget in this campaign and the campaign level of this. You're going to run zero interest all broad. Doesn't matter if you're running a hundred dollars a day. It doesn't matter if you're running a thousand dollars a day. This is how you're going to start. This is how you're going to scale a little bit until maybe even $10,000 a day. It doesn't matter your budget. This can probably work up until, you know, $20,000 a day. I've seen it work for crazy budgets. One CBO, and this is how you're going to structure it. You're not going to select any interest, any audience. You're going to exclude all your purchasers. You're going to create that in the audience section within your ad account, and you're going to exclude that. Probably 90 days, 180 days, whatever it is, 30 days. It's okay, just exclude you know some level of purchasers if you're retargeting them, sure. So your CBO, each ad set, you're going to have be separated by angle of your actual creatives. Your creatives can be you know developed any way you'd like. I have, I explained that in other videos, but each of your angles of your videos need to be in different ad sets. Your CBO is the main level. Your ad sets are the level below that. And each of those ad sets, they're going to be the same copy, the same headline, the same primary text, the same preview text, the same all variables that have to do with the actual you know text on the ad. All the variables there are going to be consistent. The only difference in all of your ads within the CBO are going to be the creative. Each ad set is going to be different angles. I use the coffee alternative example a bit. So let's say we're doing the same thing, right? So the first angle, the first ad set is going to be all your creatives based off of ditching Starbucks. That's your first angle. You're going to throw all of those in there. doesn't matter if it's different talent, different headline, different hooks, everything that has to do with ditching Starbucks, you're going to put into this ad set. The next one, it's going to be, you know, money saving. So all the creatives you have about how much you save by switching to this coffee alternative, XYZ coffee. And you're going to say, you know, I used to spend this much money at Starbucks or your local coffee shop. And now you save this much money and you're spending 20 bucks a month as opposed to $200 a month. All of those ads go into this ad set. The next ad set is going to be the next angle and so on. I suggest having about four to seven ad sets as soon as you start, just because I'm assuming your budget won't be very high. If your budget is high, you should probably start at a lower budget just to get this thing moving so then you can eventually scale. Once you have an angle that's going to work, you're going to see one of the ad sets get a majority of the spend. Hopefully your click-through rate is relatively decent. A decent click-through rate is between three or just probably over 3%. That's pretty good. Anything more is absolutely incredible. Anything less, probably go back to the drawing board and figure out a better angle that you can you know, use to resonate with your customer. Once you have a winning angle, you're going to probably turn off all the other ones, but sometimes you don't even have to turn off the other ad sets. Because they're not getting spend, you don't have to turn them off until you know a few weeks down the road. It's very possible that an ad set that hasn't gotten any spend jumps to the top and gets some spend because now the algorithm has favored it and it's possible that it's not resonating with the consumer. But once you have this winning angle, you're now going to film ads based on this angle as well. So just because you have your ditch Starbucks angle in this one ad set that's doing very well, you're not gonna take your new Starbucks ads and put them into that same ad set. You're not going to touch this ad set. This ad set's working, it's running. Don't touch anything that's working. A lot of people say, take your winning ads, put them into a new campaign. I wouldn't do that until anything burns out or you're spending so much money that you have to do another campaign, another testing campaign. So what you're going to do, you're going to fill more ads based off of this angle and put them in a new ad set in the same campaign. This campaign, you're still not going to touch any of the details, any of the targeting, no variables with the copy. You're just gonna put your new creatives in a new ad set in the same campaign. You're gonna to continue to do that. And I highly suggest you upload at least once a week. If you upload any more, it might be too much for the algorithm depending on your spend. If you upload any less, things probably will burn out and you probably will be spending money on ads that aren't performing very well. This is a total process. This has taken me sometimes two months or more for you to finally find a winner and then scale your ads. The sauce is mostly in the creative. The campaign structure is pretty standard at this point and you need to be testing this way. There's another campaign structure that you can get to once you're spending probably 7,000 and up and you have, I would say over 20 to 30 ad sets within this campaign. You can move to an ABO and ad set budget and test with you know $50 each, $100 each, that's a different campaign. But I would stick to the CBO to start and to test. A lot of the interest testing and you know different copy testing, you don't have to do that at the beginning. Focus on your creative and work within this structure. Once you've mastered the structure or the ads are starting to perform within the CBO and you're scaling between you know 5,000 or I said 7,000 and up, you're going to start an ad set budget campaign and continue to find winners or use different creatives that have won, but use that same angle and put them into your ad set budgets and you're going to scale it that way. You're going to scale vertically instead of horizontally. And when I say vertically, it means you're going to just create new campaigns to then, you know, double spend or, or just scale your spend as opposed to increasing budget within the campaign. Let's say you're spending, you know, $1,000 a day on your CBO and it's looking great. It's converting perfectly. Your click-through rate's great. Your CPA, most importantly, is great. Your ROAS, everything's perfect. You can then increase it 10 to 20% per day. I would definitely not go more than this. If you double budget, you run the risk of fully messing everything up. And at this point, when you're at higher spend between between, you know, anything over a few hundred dollars, everything gets a little bit more
more delicate. And I would scale very slowly to just make sure performance stays consistent. One wrong tweak and one wrong, if you double the budget, you get very excited. You know, everything's just ripping your row as it's great. You know, you're at a two, you're at a three. As soon as you start to double budget and you get very excited, things can fully fall apart. And then you have to go fully back to probably starting from scratch. This is just my experience, turning this campaign off, starting from scratch, just building out the whole thing again. It's very possible that this campaign stops working if you start to double or triple budget out of nowhere. The algorithm doesn't seem to know what to do at that point. So you're going to scale very slowly, but focus on making your creative. Duplicate that ad set, and then you're going to upload your new creatives into that CBO. Focus on the CBO, and then don't even worry about the ad set budget yet. I can I can answer that if you have questions about that. If you're at that level, if you're spending a lot of when you have new creatives, message me, we can talk about it. But this is the campaign structure I've seen work very, very well. I would focus on one campaign, get to about $50,000, $100,000 a month within one or two CBOs maybe if you have so many ad sets in one, but chances are you're probably not uploading as many creatives as you should be. Definitely upload once per week, but this campaign structure I've seen work for every brand, a lot of D2C brands, and this can definitely work for you. So quick video, quick little advice. Hope this works for you. Let me know if it doesn't. Thanks, appreciate it. Let you know, like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep making these videos. Thanks.